What's going on guys? It's crypto time! Once again, I hope you guys are having an amazing day out there. So much to cover today. Bitcoin price action was absolutely wild today. Crypto.com is finally launching their exchange engine, is teaming up with the guys over at Microsoft. Bitcoin's Lightning Network gets a big boost. And what would you do if your employer told you that if you buy Bitcoin, you're going to get fired. Well, some people are having to answer that very question now. And let's just get into it. And let's start off with the price of Bitcoin. Wow, what a crazy day today was. Let's have a look here at the charts and you can see just the wildness that happened. We had this one hour chart where Bitcoin pumped from $7,200 all the way up to almost $7,800 and $7,750 is kind of where it topped out at on most exchanges. Came back down, chilled out for a while, and then blammo, straight back down to where it started off at. And that's kind of where we are right now. Basically where Bitcoin started the day today, that is where the price has gone back to. This is totally natural and normal Bitcoin price action. Obviously, there is zero manipulation going on here in these markets, right? Right. Obviously, when this happened, a lot of people got liquidated probably on both ends of this price action, to be honest. And it's just a reminder out there as well that you don't need to be trading the chop right now. You can just be stacking sats and chilling. That's all you need to do. Buy and hold Bitcoin. Yeah, there's lots of trading opportunities out there, but you don't have to be trying to chase every single candle. So you can just be chilling on that, guys. Also, make sure to check out the new Crypto.com exchange. You guys know that I'm a big fan of Crypto.com, and I'm also an affiliate for Crypto.com. This is not a sponsored segment of the show today. Just I think it's really cool. They finally launched their exchange. So this is totally new. It's just launched today. Um, you can come and check it out. The volume is not super large yet. They also don't have a huge amount of pairs to start with. We have Bitcoin, the CRO token, the MCO token, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin. So a lot of the most popular stuff, USDT, of course, is also available. They're offering very low fees, promising very good liquidity as well via their Vortex liquidity engine. Fees 0.008% for makers and 0.02% for takers. They're also offering the ability to stake CRO, their CRO token, and you will get massive trading fee discounts up to 100%. And also you'll get 20% annually back for staking that CRO. You'll also have priority access to token sale events. So if you want to check out some more information on that, crypto.com slash exchange. Bitcoin's Lightning Network has got a major nod of approval from the guys over at Bitfinex. The exchange is going to be fully supporting the Lightning Network and enabling payments for Lightning. Now, it has been a tough year for the Lightning Network. I think we all expected a lot more adoption for the Lightning Network to happen in 2019. That hasn't really happened. We have seen some more wallets come on board and some more people accepting Lightning as payments, but the infrastructure does still remain in a very early stage. So seeing a major exchange like Bitfinex saying, we're gonna be fully supporting the Lightning Network I think that does a lot in moving the conversation forward about how Lightning is going to be developing moving forward. Over in China, China's internet firewall has blocked access to the popular Ethereum block explorer, etherscan.io. Now, it's weird that they would only target etherscan because uh, other websites like Nginx for example, or a whole host of other ones are still up and working. It seems like they're really just targeting Etherscan, which is kind of a bit weird when you think of it, but it puts uh, Etherscan along with other blocked websites that you'll see in China, like, you know, Google and Facebook and Twitter and Reddit. Most uh, major Western social media and major websites are blocked in China. We see Etherscan simply getting added to that list. This doesn't affect 
Ethereum. This doesn't affect people from being able to access the Ethereum blockchain. It simply makes it one step harder for anybody who is using Etherscan. Now they have to go out and learn about Nginx or something different instead. I would assume that websites like Nginx or Ethplorer and others will also get added to this list in the future. But at this time, it's only one website. Just a quick reminder of China's authoritarian Orwellian control scape that is the modern Chinese internet. Microsoft has given a major nod of approval to Engine. Engine, of course, the popular gaming cryptocurrency. Microsoft has launched Azure Heroes. So in particular, this is going to serve as a rewards system that basically lets people get rewarded for doing things like coaching or creating demos or blogging about Azure or any other kind of stuff. You can see here, these are the actual non-fungible tokens that you can receive as a reward for your contribution to the Azure community. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. We have to remember too that every single one of these NFTs they have got engine tokens forged into them. So every one of these tokens has an inherent value based on the cryptocurrency, which has been forged into the token. Some cute little badgers there, aren't they? Of course, this isn't Microsoft's first foray into the crypto space. Microsoft has also, for example, been working on building a decentralized ID platform on Bitcoin, and I'm sure they have lots of other surprises in store for us outside of just building some NFTs on Ethereum using Engine. But it's a really, really cool thing to see such a major company like Microsoft getting excited about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology and actually building things on top of it. Now this next one is ridiculous beyond belief. Danish court upholds Nordea bank ban on employees owning Bitcoin. Yes, that is right. Employees at this bank are not allowed to own Bitcoin. That is insane beyond belief. Now imagine that you're an employee with this bank and you just want to go out and buy some Bitcoin. You can get fired for that. That's wild. And of course, like all banks, it's pretty easy to find stories about how screwed up Nordea Bank is. Nordea Bank uh, handled about $790 million in suspicious transactions, which means that this is just one story, a recent story, about them participating in money laundering. So unsurprising to see another bank which is a criminal bank doing criminal stuff. Just another day in banking, I guess. But anyway, back to the idea about your employer being able to tell you what you can or cannot own. That's pretty far reaching. I mean, I know it's Bitcoin. I know Bitcoin is an existential threat to the banking infrastructure and all this fun kind of stuff. But for a bank to go so far as to say, you're not allowed to own this currency, this money, or you'll be fired. Would they say, well, you're not allowed to own a, a BMW, or you'll be fired? No, of course they wouldn't. You're not allowed to go to the casino, or you'll be fired. No, of course they wouldn't. They would encourage that, probably. You're not allowed to own gold, or you'll be fired. That would also be some BS, but... When it comes to Bitcoin, suddenly all logic goes out the window and you actually see a bank saying that its employees cannot own Bitcoin. That's wild. And it's other digital currencies too. It's not just Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Monero, all, all that fun kind of stuff. You're totally banned from crypto. Now this is at a time when you have Samsung phones and HTC phones and the Opera browser and all this stuff putting crypto wallets in. And yet this bank is going the total opposite direction saying that, well, if you use any of these services available on your phone that's legal to have, legal to own in this country, you will be 
in trouble with your employer. If you work at Nordea Bank, I think it's time to find a new job because that is ridiculous. But what would you do if your employer came to you and said, hey, if you buy any Bitcoin, you're going to get fired. Let me know about down below in the comment section because that is ridiculous in my opinion. And that's all for me for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. Please let me know what you think about any of today's stories. What do you think about that Bitcoin price action today? Totally normal, right? Totally normal. Nothing to see here. Are you excited about uh, Engine teaming up with Microsoft? You guys rock. Thank you so much. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Long live the blockchain. And peace out till next time.